Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. And we're here to look into one of the subjects of that book and that is the Earth's natural magnetic field. We actually have a model of the Earth's natural magnetic field right here. So we have a magnet, that magnet is in a plastic tub and it's floating on water. And right now it's aligned with the Earth's natural magnetic field. And we can demonstrate that if we spin this around, it should spin back to its starting position, which it's in the process of doing. So why are we talking about the Earth's natural magnetic field? Well, it's one of the subjects of this book. And you look at this diagram right here, you can actually see that in 1831, the Earth's natural magnetic field was down here. So this is the North Pole. By 2001, the North Pole had moved over to here. And the interesting thing about this is that just in 1994, it was over here. So from 1994 to 2001, it went all that distance. So you can see that it's actually accelerating. It's actually predicted to keep on going. So this experiment is designed to show you one of the things that may be causing that. And one of the things that I've been looking into is that humans have been concentrating metals into cities. And when you do that, you actually disturb the Earth's natural magnetic field because every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So we're going to demonstrate what happens when you put some metal into the Earth's natural magnetic field. So we actually have this little nut this little nut is going to be our simulation of a city, a very large city. We're going to call it Los Angeles. So when you put a lot of metal into Los Angeles, let's see what happens. So our metal is now in the field and it's now reacting to the metal and the magnet is being attracted over to the metal. And you can see that it's an acceleration effect. So this is why I believe that the Earth's magnetic field is accelerating. It's simply because humans have taken metal from all over the world and then concentrated it into very large cities. And as you can see, you only need a very small amount of metal to influence the magnetic field. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.